We are looking at a place in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, where electric history was made. This building was built after that happened. <clears throat> but before this building was built, there was once a more simple structure there, which housed steam engines and electric generators. The generators were some of the first that George Westinghouse had built to produce elect electricity not in the old style using direct current but in the new style using alternating current. This was a big deal and Greensburg was one of the first places in the country where this new system was tried out. This is West Otterman Street and if you drive past there today, you can still see this building. It used to be a two-story building. This shows the building when it was two, when it was a two-story building. It was a car dealership. And previously it had been a place where there was a, a, a blacksmith employed by a carriage factory. They had they'd been making wheeled vehicles pulled by horses there. That was all after the electric uh, generating plant was there. This is a map, a Sanborn mapping. Uh, there was a company that made fire insurance mapping and they're very useful for being able to show what was what was there in the old days. This is a better version of that. This is mapping from 1891. And it shows the location there, West Otterman Street. And it's just a little bit east of where uh, Westminster Street now intersects with West Otterman. But this shows what the place was. It had three boilers in there. These are the symbols for boilers. People's Electric Light Company was uh, in ownership there. And they had several of George Westinghouse's new, what they called dynamos. They were generators. This says three dynamos. That means three generators running. And they were generating electric current in the alternating current mode, which meant this was stuff that could be used with transformers and it could be transferred over very great distances. And it was a big improvement on Edison's older system of uh, direct current, which could not transfer, which could not be transmitted very far. It was, it was a very restricted system. We're looking at Contemporary mapping. This is from the courthouse. It shows the plot of ground that one time was the location of the uh, electric generating station that was using George Westinghouse's new electric system. This is West Otterman Street. This is Westminster coming over here. This is the building as it sits today. This is, we're looking at uh, West Otterman Street, looking more or less west. This building has been through quite a lot. And this building is made of brick and it's not the same building that was there when electric uh, power was generated. The original building was a bit more flimsy and not so quite so substantial. It was covered with corrugated metal. And uh, it didn't last too long. They generated power there until uh, in the 1890s, it was it was replaced by another plant down by the uh, 
southwest branch that was it had coal available to uh, fire the fire the steam engines. This one was firing the steam engines, the boilers with gas, which we would guess came from very close. There was a gas producing facility just a couple blocks away from that to the north, right beside the main line of the railroad. And I think we've said enough about this, but it's a uh, interesting feature of Greensburg, Pennsylvania. It was set up in Greensburg in the 1880s and started to produce electric power there. It's one of those historic firsts. And I think it's time to shut this off and say so long until next time.